Almost all frogs need to lay their eggs in water for their tadpoles to survive. So different species have to share the same pond. How can they coexist without competing for food or accidentally mating with the wrong species? One solution is to reproduce at different times of year. In New England, the earliest frogs are wood frogs, which emerge while there's still snow, quickly breed, and then return to the woods until next spring. Spring peepers appear at the same time as wood frogs, but their mating season lasts into June. On the first hot day in May, gray tree frogs announce their arrival. You can use them as a thermometer because they begin to trill when temperatures hit the high 60s. Bullfrogs and their close relatives, green frogs, are around all summer, although fairly quiet at first. So see the wrinkle behind his eardrum, behind the eye? The way that curves around the eardrum tells you that it's a bullfrog, not a green frog. When they're cold, they tend not to be all that wary. So let's see how close I can get to him. Bullfrogs are noisiest in July, while green frogs own the month of August. Pickerel frogs are most conspicuous late in the season, when you can hear their soft, snoring call and find them hopping across your lawn into September, six months after wood frogs. Not only do frogs space themselves across the calendar, they divide up acoustic space. Spring peepers dominate the high registers. Great tree frogs a little lower. Green frogs lower still. And bullfrogs the baseline. From mud season until the first autumn frosts, you can see and hear a parade of different frogs. Oh, <laughs>